welcome back to my channel my first video of 2017 and I have this look for you some colored brows graphic liner halo eye a little bit of cut crease action too so I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you'd like to see how I got this look then please keep on watching Okay, so we're going to be starting off with the brows today, and I'm first taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Craft Liquid Lipstick with my Zoeva 317 Wing Liner Brush. And I'm first starting out by drawing a line on the underside of the brow. This is kind of just like an outline. And once I have that, I'm going to start feathering in the product upwards. So once I've done that, I'm just going to outline the tail of the brow and fill that in. And then I'm going to work up towards the middle of the brow, outlining the top of the brow. So then I'm taking Lime Crimes Vibe Velveteen with this very, very tiny, thin paintbrush. And I'm going to kind of draw in some hairs towards the front of the brow. So then I'm taking Lime Crimes Quill Liquid Liner. You could use any black liner, but I am just going to outline the bottom half of the brow and then go over the tail of the brow and kind of fill that in. Then I'm going to, after I've done that, I'm going to reach for my Zoeva brush with the craft on it and kind of go over some of that black just so we get a nice ombre. Now I'm taking Tarte Shape Tape Concealer with my MAC 195 brush and I'm going to clean up the brow. Next, I'm just going to take this Firma 204 brush and blend out that concealer. And then, since I terribly botched up that bottom half of the brow, I am going to grab my Quill Liquid Liner again and fix the arch there. So once I am happy with the bottom side of the brow, I'm just going to make sure that's nice and sharp and precise. Then fill in some more hair like strokes in the front of the brow with vibe. And then that is the finished brow. Now we're going to move on to the eye look and I'm using Lime Crimes Venus palette and I'm first going to take the shade Rebirth on my Morphe R40 brush. It's just a large blending brush and I'm applying this to my upper crease area as my transition shade. And then I'm reaching into the Kat Von D Better Together palette and I'm taking the shade Pour Vita on my sugar pill tapered blending brush and I am going over the edge slash brow bone area to make sure that that is really diffused. Now I'm taking the shade Muse with my Sigma E25 brush and I am applying this to my crease going back and forth with windshield wiper motions. I just picked up my Morphe R40 and I am going over the edge of that. Now 
Now I'm just taking my MAC 239 with more of Muse and applying this directly to my crease and then blending with my Sigma E25 brush. Now I'm taking my Suva Beauty Hydro Cream Base in the shade Existentialism, I do not know how to pronounce that, with my Sugar Fill Lip Brush. I applied some eye drops right into the base and then it makes it more of a liquidy consistency and I'm just cutting out my crease and applying this all over my lid. The Hydro Cream bases are actually amazing for cutting out your crease because once you add liquid to them, it makes it easier to cut out your crease than, say, a concealer. So that's a nice tip for you guys. So now I'm going to be taking the shade Aura, I believe, with my flat bean brush and I'm applying this to the very center of my lid. Next I'm taking the shade Shell on the same flat bean brush and I'm applying this on either side of where I placed Aura. Now I'm taking the shade Venus on my Luxie 213 brush and I'm going to apply this on the very outer corner of the eye and the very inner corner of my eye. Then I just picked up my flat paint brush and I'm going over the shade shell areas. That sounds like a tongue twister. And then blending out my crease again. Now I'm taking Lime Crimes Quill Liquid Liner again and I'm going to be winging out my eyeliner. And just cleaning up my wing with a wipe because I made it too thick. And now I'm going to drag this into my crease. Cutting out the crease actually gives you a little guideline to where this should be. So it's actually easy, it's just like outlining it. So now I'm taking Suva Beauty's Snow Queen Hydro Liner. I've activated this with some eye drops and I'm taking this very thin paintbrush and I'm just drawing this right along the edge of the black liner. So you're outlining this as well. <laughs> And just picking up the black liner again and making sure that is a nice crisp line. Now just tight lining, a very important step that I always do. I just don't always include it. So I included it today. <laughs> then more of fixing that liner. And then I'm just cleaning up the wing with some concealer.
For lashes, I applied Lena Lashes Me Style Nayona. So that's the look with the lashes on. So then taking the shade Venus on the Luxie 213 and smudging this on the lower lash line. Then taking my Sigma E25 brush and blending that out. And then taking the MAC 239 and going along the lash line. Now I'm taking the shade Aura on my Firma 301 brush and applying this to the inner corner of my eye. Then taking the shade Shell with my IT Cosmetics pencil brush and just going right in between that. Now I'm taking my Sigma's Artful Power Liner and applying this to my waterline. Applying some mascara. And this is the finished eye look. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and my first video of 2017. With that being said, if you guys have any video requests for me, please leave them in the comments below and I will try to work on those videos. <laughs> it's very hard for me to go like with a certain topic because then I feel like I'm trying too hard and then it doesn't always turn out the way that I want it to. So anyway, if you have any suggestions, I said, like I said, I will try to get on those videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.